So on this video, I'm going to be testing um, lots of different water sources in our house just to give a brief overview of what sort of contaminants your water could contain. Um, obviously comparing it to the Osmio Zero. So first we'll have the kettle, which is what most people in the house will be using to cook, to boil their, you know, for their coffee and their tea and stuff. Um, kettles have a metallic heating element in. Um, people aren't aware that that metallic heating element over time will be breaking down. So if you've had your kettle for 10 years now, that'll be releasing a, lo a load of metallic particles into your water. Osmio Zero has a ceramic heater element in it, so this, this won't be breaking down over time. We've also recently had an under sink um, boiler fitted. Um, it's a three in one tap. It's got filtered water, tap water, and the boiler, boil, boiled water as well. Um, so I'll be testing that as well because over time these break down as well, and the manufacturers don't don't let consumers know. And there's no servicing schedule over time either. Um, we've also got a tap fil um, a, a fridge filter here, which is 0.5 micron, which we'll be testing as well. Um, so I'll run through each water su su supply as we're doing it. I'll be testing it with this device, which is a TDS device. Uh, total dissolved solids. It's a very crude measurement to be honest. It's not going to tell me if it's lead or if it's sodium or um, you know if it's mercury or stuff like that. So it's basically just a rough guide of how many total dissolved solids are in each water. So obviously the lower this number the better. But it can't distinguish between stuff like calcium or lead or arsenic and stuff like that. So it is a very crude measurement but obviously I can't start testing this water for lead and that one for lead and that one for mercury. I need a million different testing um, devices. So it's just a crude measurement you can use at home just to give you a rough, a rough idea of what your water quality is like. Um, so we'll start with the tap water. So this side is just a basic tap. And I've written little notes here so we can keep track of what we've got. Um, so, just, so this is our tap, just tap water with nothing done to it. And you can see that's 212, 212 parts per million, about 215. So that's just our regular tap water. Put that right down as we go. 212 parts per million. Right, and then we've got, uh, we've got, sorry if you come in here, under here, we've got a BWT 0.5 micron filter. which we were using before the Osmio, which I thought was amazing. I thought we'd be taking some um, heavy metals out and stuff, but um, this test will prove that it doesn't, doesn't do anything really. Removes obviously microplastics, chlorine, stuff like that, and makes it taste nicer. But in terms of heavy metals, um, you'll see from this test, it's not really doing a lot. So that's attached to this fridge here. We go back over here, so that's the fridge. So that's, as I said, 0.5 microns, which is still a really good filter, but in terms of removing heavy metals, you'll see that's 207, eight. So it's barely, it's barely scratched the surface. Um, this is a tap filter. So this is a five micron, so this is nowhere near as um, fine a filter as that. This is what most people have on their, you know, their Brita tap, stuff like that. It's just five micron. It's basically just improves the taste a bit, takes chlorine out, but in terms of actually filtering the water, um, it doesn't really do a lot to be honest. So as I say, that's five micron. I'll, I'll show it you under here. So under here, we've got the five micron filter. As I say, that's just a big, you know, standard filter. And this is our boiler here. It's a ProBoil 2X. Um, just a, a bog standard um, boiler that comes with these three in one. It's like a cheaper version of a KUKA. But the KUKAs are pretty similar made, to be honest. Um, and you'll see what the water quality is coming out of there in a bit. So this is the one we've just done, the five micron. Again, it's gonna be pretty similar to what we've got already. 
225. So this is actually higher than the tap water, funny enough. So that's interesting. 224 out of that. And now we'll do the Osmio Zero. I've done a video um, running through a demonstration and a quick overview of the Osmio Zero. So I'll put that link here in the top corner. Um, you know, talking about all the different uh, ele elements of this, but basically it's an, a reverse osmosis filter, so it's the, the purest water you can get from home. And this is just room temperature. I'm going to do another one in a minute for the boiling water. Okay, so that sells me a zero. So that's 55, 54. Now, the point on that, so that's a reverse osmosis filter. It filters down to 0 0.001 micron to 0 0.003 micron. But then it's got a post filter because obviously it removes everything, every element out of the water. But then it also removes the good stuff as well. So we've got a post filter in there, which adds in calcium and magnesium after so these, this 55 parts per million there, it's the calcium and the magnesium getting added back in. Um, so that's nothing to worry about there. That's actually good, that's good elements we need. So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fill up this kettle here. So it's just a box standard Russell Hobbs kettle, the standard kettle most people have got in their homes, with tap water. We'll put that on the boil. And then while that's boiling, we'll take the boiling water out of, out of our boiler here. So that is the tap boiler, so put that in the middle there. That's also filtered down to 5 micron, because it goes through that filter as well, and then goes in the boiler. The kettle's boiling over there, and then we've got the Osmio here. So the Osmio Zero is also a kettle, which is amazing, um, but it, it, it boils the water through a ceramic filter, so it doesn't add heavy metals into the water like these two will be, which hopefully this test will highlight. So that's 100 degrees from the Osmio. I've not actually done this test uh, yet, so I don't actually know what we're going to find out, so it's quite interesting. So that's the Osmio Zero on the right hand side. Inside the kettle. So this is a plastic device now, so I don't really want to be different in boiling hot water. So what we'll do is we'll set the camera up on the tripod and we'll just leave it running until these cool down in an hour or two. Okay, so we had a few problems with the camera. I was hoping to just leave it running um, for an hour or two while everything cooled down and come back and um, you can see that nothing's been changed, but obviously the camera's cut off. Then the memory card filled up, so I just had to um, have to go again. <laughs> Um, so now we'll start with the kettle. So the kettle is two six two, two six one. I 
and the top boiler, the under sink top boiler. It's 227. And the Aussie Mirror Zero. So just a few few points on these results. Uh, the tap boiler was is only about three months old, so it's not to say that tap boilers are fine. You know, in two or three years' time, and they're not they're not going to break down. Ours is quite new, to be honest. Obviously, you can see from the kettle, from 212 to 261, so that's that's releasing a lot of heavy metals into the water, and the Osmio hasn't changed at all. As I say, the Osmio is a ceramic heating element. So over time that shouldn't change either, but that's brand new. So I will be revisiting this this in the uh, you know the next six to twelve months. Oh yeah, something I've learned today is obviously this testing the conductivity of the water. That's how it works, and then it converts into a parts per million result. Now when I started testing that the the boiling hot waters, the parts per million was just dropping uh, like a stone in water, and that's because I've learned <laughs> waters actually more conductive the hotter it is so if you look at any more reviews online of people testing boiling hot water and saying there's a lot more heavy metals in there than, than there is it's because it, it's because they're measuring hot boiling hot water so for a, for a fair test all the water needs to be at the same temperature and then you can uh, actually compare the results um, so there you go now these are only 40 pounds if you want to get one test your own water uh, don't take my word for it <clears throat> osmio zero here like I say, I'm a big fan of this. The freshest water you can get, hot and cold water, you know you're not drinking every, any heavy metals. And the post filter puts back in some calcium magnesium, so you're still getting the elements you need. 445 pounds. If you want one, uh, my link's below. Uh, yeah, if you like this video, please like it and share it. Um, test your water, get, get knowledgeable about your water and what's, what's going into your body. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.